Hello and good afternoon everybody. Uh, the, my video for today is going to go over on how to make activated charcoal. Uh, there are a bunch of videos on YouTube right now that show how to make charcoal, but I haven't found any on there showing you how to make that charcoal into activated charcoal. Now the benefits of activated charcoal is just about unlimited. I mean, you can use activated charcoal for just about anything. You can, from uh, treating your acne all the way to uh, food poisoning. It'll uh, cure your food poisoning. And uh, if you want to, I'm sure you can just type in uh, things to use activated charcoal on and it'll bring you a list so numerous of what you can use activated charcoal for. It it takes place of a lot of medicines, creams. Um, it's just great stuff to have around your house. It's numerous. Um, you can whiten and clean your teeth with it. I mean, there's just so many things you can do with activated charcoal. And uh, so that's why I'm going to go over on how to make it. First of all, what you're going to need to make activated charcoal is a hardwood. What I use is an oak log. I use an oak log because oak is very numerous where I'm at. It's easy to get and it's a hardwood. I mean come on. So what we got here is your oak wood and a cover. Now what we're going to do with that cover is we're going to uh, set the log on fire which I'm not going to do on this video because you got to burn the log down completely to all that's left is charcoal. Right there's some charcoal. Now what you do is you set that log on fire. you best to have several logs that way you can have the, the most amount of charcoal when it's done. But you set your log on fire, you cover it once it gets going really good, you cover it with your container and that will take care of um, smoldering it, keeping it smoldered. That smoldering will make sure that it doesn't just burn up into ashes. It will make sure that there's charcoal at the end of the burning process. Now at the end of the burning process, when you remove that cover, make sure that the uh, uh, what's left of the wood is uh, cool to the touch because once you get to working with it you don't want to get burned that's not good now when you move on to the charcoal you break it up into any large pieces you'll break it up like uh, these pieces here there's a couple good sized ones but sometimes you'll have logs that are completely burned, but they're completely burned through for charcoal. You'll use them and you'll break these up into smaller parts, preferably into a powder. Now you can either do that by hand or you can do it with a, with a blender, you know, a cheap blender. Don't get an expensive one because it will tear that blender up. Now, after you get your charcoal broke down into smaller pieces, preferably into close as you can to powder, you will move to a five gallon bucket. Now, this five gallon bucket, it is uh, what you will put your charcoal in. And you'll put it in there. Now, here comes the important part. The important part of what activates your charcoal is a chemical that is called calcium chloride or you can even use zinc chloride. Now what you do is you put 25 percent of concentrated calcium chloride or zinc chloride into the plastic bucket which is your five gallon bucket right there. Now the rest of the what you want to do is mix water with that okay. So you got 25 and 75. 
All right, 75 water, 25 of your calcium chloride or zinc chloride. You will pour that in. Now, as you pour it in, you will want to go make sure you get the whole thing, the whole top. That way it can penetrate all the way through. And once you get it going, completely out, you will stir it. Uh, use a stick for this, you know, a, a pretty good one. Uh, it won't break as you stir. But you just stir it up, get it all worked up, make sure you get it all in there. You take your lid, seal it. Make sure that's sealed. Now, what you'll do is, you will let that sit for 20 to 24 hours. During this process, the chemicals are impregnated into the charcoal. After work, which further treatment will transfer the charcoal into activated charcoal. The next step is removing the charcoal from the chemical solution and then you put it into a drying tray. Uh, you can put it in a tray with a, a screen, uh, several layers of screen. And I don't have mine out with me right now, but it's very easy to make. Uh, you just put your charcoal on there, spread it out on the tray. Uh, you can uh, put it on there, let it drain for about an hour. Once it's drained for that hour, and um, you can uh, take some clean, fresh water and spray it on there and make sure you get it all washed off and that will get any um, excess chemicals off of the charcoal. Now, next thing to do is, is uh, you take the powder that's left of it and you put it in an oven. You know, in like a cookie sheet or, or a bread pan, whatever you have that can hold a lot. And you put it in that oven for t when 215 to 230 degrees Fahrenheit and bake it for three hours. That will make sure all the moisture is out of the activated charcoal. After you bake it, remove it from the oven, and if it's still in large chunks, crush it up with the help of a blender or by hand if you must. Um, you can use a hammer to grind it up. You know, just lightly press it on there and crunch, 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 turn the powder. Then you uh, store your activated charcoal in a Ziploc bag. Now this is the finished product. It's a fine powder. Very fine powder. Real light. Real light. This stuff right here can save your life. Real light powder. It's uh, some of the best stuff to have on hand for you preppers, for uh, the people that just like to make stuff on their own, be all natural, you know. Uh, a lot of this stuff you're getting in stores now, medicine-wise, food-wise, is not safe for us anymore. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please comment, and I will answer those questions. Um... And I guess everybody just have a good day, be safe out there, and enjoy.